Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are creating Ripley from Fortnite Chapter 2, but this is translucent clay and I think it should be way more transparent and we are ripping Ripley apart and find a new, a different, a better material to create the perfect Ripley. I'm really excited about today's video because it will be exciting. We will do all these experiments with different materials. But for now, let's spend a few minutes on the skin, on the base layer, which is somehow the stand for all the different materials which we are using for the jelly. This is the aluminum wire. <sighs> Let's get started. I hope you guys are all fine. I just returned from Los Angeles. I've been to Vid Summit. I learned a lot about YouTubing and all that kind of stuff. You won't see any big changes in this video. Well, except for some different materials. But what I learned was basically including the community more. And I am looking forward to that. So. Be prepared to be more included into my videos. I really want to take this serious and develop this channel even further. As you know, it, there will be way more stop motion in the future. But also this, the new Fortnite Chapter 2. And maybe we should uh, spend a few words also on the live event. I was somehow wrong about the prediction I made with the firecracker, by, but I enjoyed this a lot and oh boy, I got so many requests to create this bee, which you have seen in the video, which accidentally dropped and um, flew to my table and was sitting there all time long while creating the depot from Dusty Depot where the rocket started from and it was quite nice to have the bee as my pet. Back to this creation, back to Ripley. We are creating the trousers which are basically black. You see that we have really dark black as it is right out of the package and I also threw in the gray for the trousers itself because it should be slightly brighter. Okay, now some details on the boots. These are new boots. I haven't seen them on any Fortnite character so far. Oh, I'm <laughs> already so excited about all the materials. While creating, I was thinking, ah, what what could you use? And I even asked it. I asked you what um, <laughs> I should use as materials. Here are some suggestions what you wrote, what I should use, and you will be surprised because I ended up doing some of your suggestions, but uh, well, there was also one material no one suggested, that was just me, my weird thinking. <laughs> we have some tiny, tiny blue details on the trousers as well. Here we go, and then we can already prepare the area where we will fill in all the different materials. This is a nice pocket. We have four of them and they are all right around the belt. The belt of Ripley. Here we go for the two pockets on the back side. And he has somehow um, belly button protection. This is just some armor some silver and some yellow as well. We will include that and some further details. Here we go. And these are some stripes which will hold everything in position even for for him. <laughs> yeah, I normally do some fan stories or I invent a story about the background 
of a character like Ripley and normally I asked you before but now I haven't so I have to improvise a little bit what happened to Ripley I have no idea but he looks like as if he was an accident <clears throat> it was Monday again Professor Reposterus had stayed the whole weekend in the laboratory to work on the path on the perfect bubblegum. What is the perfect bubblegum you're asking right now, I think? Well, the perfect bubblegum has three secrets. First, there is taste. Professor Reposterus collected some blueberries outside the laboratory building. Strange enough, they were so big as if they... Hmm. He threw them into the mixer. Then the second attribute to make the perfect bubblegum is... Well, maybe we should put this creation first into the oven before I tell all the secrets. <laughs> this is how we created the hands and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked! <coughs> First parts of our creation of Ripley! So the second attribute to make the perfect bubblegum is color! As they already were blue, he decided to add even some further blue. As we are creating right now with a transparent clay. And well, I'm quite disappointed by this translucent clay, as you can see later. So he wanted to create an even richer blue color, but instead the color became transparent as well. Strange. Very strange things. Hmm. The third attribute is viscosity. How hard is the bubblegum to chew? As he reached into the pot with bubblegum, cooking slowly with his index finger first slowly another inch another inch the bubblegum reacted and swallowed him his whole arm and then the whole body the whole professor reposterous years later people told stories about radioactive blueberries and how one man became a bubblegum Okay, maybe I told better stories before, but this was ju just right out of my head. So give me some credit <laughs> or invent even better stories. If you publish them down below in the comments, I will publish them in the next video, in the next Fortnite video. First stage of this video, the character made of polymer clay. Let's put this into the oven as well. Freshly baked <coughs> jelly part of Ripley. <laughs> but look at that. It is really disappointing. Ah, what should we do? Which materials should we use? Hmm. That's it. Uh, Ripley. Maybe. Let's start all over again. We take this creation apart and start with the mold. Because look at that, maybe we can use him as a mold for the perfect material and we even have to remove the eyes. I really hoped for the, the liquid and that the green, the green ball inside his head could be recognized and seen perfectly in the translucent clay. We need some water and we need this powder. Five minutes from now, I better hurry up. The package says I have to mix it really good for just one minute and then I have like three minutes to make the mold. Maybe we should put him inside. This was too much, I think. Okay, almost there. Stop! Five minutes! It is hard. This is astonishing. Wow, look at that! It feels strange. It feels really strange, but we have a mold. So, which material should we take first? <clears throat> yeah, probably we put, uh, we should put his nice face inside and then we take some raisin with hardener, ha hardener, hardener, yeah. So we are mixing two parts of the raisin with one part of the hardener. We mix it quite good and then we will add some coloring powder to it as well. 
and hopefully we get we we will have a really transparent material which works the best for our Ripley and then I can sleep well tonight because then we have finally done it. Uh -huh. I make sure that there are no no air bubbles inside and we let it dry for 12 hours and now I'm so curious. <gasps> It's white from the front, oh no! Ha ha ha, I created another one because I knew something would be not working out. Oh no, look at that. The other one is also white on the front. Maybe I screwed up, I did something wrong. It was the first time I used this material. It's so solid hard. That's it. <clears throat> Maybe. We should start all over again. This is a new mold. Maybe this was the problem. Maybe this material of the mold wasn't perfect for the resin. We are mixing this two component clay together and it will harden within five minutes. We have another nice imprint of our creation and we take some water and some green and maybe even some acrylic blue acrylic paint to get the perfect Ripley color. Okay, now let's place our face inside. Yeah, it's, it matches the color perfectly as it should be. The mold is hard right now and now I'm so curious. Let's fill in the water because I want to freeze that. We will put it into the freezer and then we have the perfect Ripley. Here we go. Now I'm so curious. Maybe it's not that transparent at all. Oh no! I broke his left arm. Oh. oh it sticks. It sticks. I just. Re oh no. Uh, I'm not really happy about that. Maybe we can use some super glue on the eyes. I've never used super glue on eyes. Turns out it doesn't really work. <clears throat> Ripley! Maybe! We should start all over again. Let's take some water and we put in our little face and then I have this balloon. <laughs> I can already read these comments which are saying, dude, I thought this was a family friendly channel. Come on guys, your kids are playing games where people are killed. This is just a condom. And that's it, Ripley. <sighs> It doesn't really work with the condom as well. So maybe we take some liquid glass. This is the last material I could think of. Some of you even wrote that. And if we would throw in some color powder as well, maybe this will turn out great. I didn't know this material exists until I did some research and I read this few comments which are telling me to look for jelly and transparent glass clay and all that kind of stuff which I have never used before. Help me! <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> it looks amazing! Look at that! This liquid glass. Oh, I think we found our material, guys! That's not the perfect shape, but that's it! Ripley! With... Oh no, oh no! Liquid glass is so disappointing! This video was a waste of time! I don't like this clay claim! We should make him out of different material! Now I want to know which version was the best or was there any material missing? Let me know, write it down in the comments, I will answer you. Well, not all of you, but I give my really best. Ah, uh, have a great week, <laughs> have a great weekend and take care. <laughs> oh, Ripley. Okay, kids, I need to tell you something about condoms. Well, it is... You should ask your parents today about condoms in general and all that kind of stuff.